Hi everyone and welcome to the Embroidery Journal Project. This is going to be an awesome project and I can hardly wait to get started. In my email that I sent out a few days ago, I was talking a little bit about how to get started and I had three questions that I had posed. What do we want our journals to look like? What can we get out of our stash? And what size do we want to do? So I went through my stash and I pulled out a whole bunch of stuff, like, and I mean a whole bunch of stuff, and I have more that I could go through. I've got some fabric, I've got some threads, I've got ribbons, I've got buttons, I've got uh, all sorts of stuff, cool, cool things. And I was also going through some of my projects that I had done that didn't really turn out so well finished wise, so I pulled, had pulled them apart and I may or may not incorporate them into my little journal. So this here is a little cross stitch I did, and I really like the colors, and it's a little uh, princess with a wand, and a she's holding a needle and thread there. And I have my cute little Jimmy the hamster. He's been sitting in this little bag. I had kind of framed him up in, a, in this uh, wooden frame, but I'm thinking that he might become part of my project. So I can do different pages in my project. I can do new embroideries. I can try some new stitches. I can try some new threads. I can try uh, other small patterns that are free. I can do some of Trish Burr's patterns. Uh, in the folder that, uh, Google folder that I sent you guys, there was a lot in there on free patterns uh, that are on the internet. You can just download. There's some black work. There's all sorts of different ideas. And part of this project uh, that I really liked, that attracted me to it, was the inspiration about things that are on the internet and they're things that I want to try, but they may not be to my liking. They might be too big, but if I put them in a journal, if I don't like them, I don't have to do them again. And they're small enough that I won't have to spend too much time doing them. And if I'd like to move on, that's okay. So... These are possibilities to add to my journals. And I was looking through my fabrics, which has also been kind of awesome because I forgot that I had some of these things. I think for my journal, when I think about how I would like it to be, it's going to be many pages. I don't know how many yet, but they're all going to be different. They're not going to be the same fabric throughout. You can do consistently, you can do the same fabric throughout. Uh, but I really want to use my stash and some of it, some of it, I want to do counted work. Some of it, I want to do surface work. So uh, this has been awesome because I have a lot of beautiful fabrics that I can use. This here is called a fo uh, linen with foil application, which will be awesome for surface embroidery. It's meant for gold work. I got it from Natalie Dupuy. Uh, in Victoria when we were there. So I think I might use some of this and you can see it's kind of got a cool sheen to it. I might use a little bit of this thread fabric. And then I found this in my stash. This is uh, by the Primitive Hair. It's a special printed um, linen with the with letters on it, which I think is really cool. Sorry about the bags, I should have taken them out. Uh, so that is a possibility for maybe a page or two. And then I also have some really cool, uh, even, I guess this is a linen too. This is called Haunted Lugana, so more of an even weave. Uh, but it's really nicely hand dyed and it's got some wonderful uh, texture and color in it. And I like the wedge woody kind of blue color. I have some more linen down here that I might use. And I have more of a, just a cotton for surface work. And I have some scraps of some old uh, t cotton twill from when I did my crew work course. I've got more linen, Belfast linen with a really cool pattern in it. And I have some pieces of uh, the sweet art with the, the dots on it, which is also really good. So I think I've kind of got a bit of a scheme here. I'm kind of liking the blues and the beiges and the whites like that so that might be don't look at the price tags on those yes i did pay that much for them um <laughs> stitching is not cheap but it's fun so i have all these fabrics that i might go to 
And as far as threads go, I have so many. So, you know, you see threads, you pick them up and, but you don't really have a purpose for them. But I have these lovely chameleons, chameleon threads that I got from Jennifer. And I would really, really, really like to use those. I was thinking like a, maybe a mandala of some sort, but they'd be really neat for. And I also have these, uh, they're a wool blend, wool polyester blend. I've got an assortment of threads there. I might do something with that. I have a bag of uh, silks that are just, you know, little leftover pieces. Green from when I did the shamrocks and more ribbon. And I have beautiful mother of pearl buttons. I thought it might be kind of fun to do a page that would be more like a crazy quilty kind of page where you're just stitching random and you can add buttons and ribbon. And look at all these little cute little ribbons I've got here. And look at these buttons. I've had them forever. So cute. Don't know what to do with them. And little buttons that I picked up for other projects that never got completed. I have a bucket of stuff here. More of the chameleon. It's beautiful. I love it. And more ribbon here that I was gift that I got as a gift. Fun little things like these fish buttons, which are really sweet. I had that was for a project I had done a while ago. A pile of Valdani, which is awesome. I like the Valdani because it's all hand dyed threads with really beautiful variations in them. Just all sorts of things. So this is a really good stash buster and, and I'm really excited about using some of these threads that have been, been in my stash for such a long time that they've been kind of languishing. And I'm really kind of excited about putting small projects together with these, these, these materials and uh, see what happens. So I'm going to end this video here for the first one. And my next video, I'm going to talk a bit about uh, the actual journal itself, the design, and doing some little bit of planning. I've got some ideas on that too, so stay tuned.